Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a comparison between Korean makeup and Japanese makeup. So this is my Korean makeup face and this is my Japanese makeup face. So just a little disclaimer, I'm not Korean or Japanese but I've been really into both Korean and Japanese makeup for years now so this is just based on my own experience in you know knowing the difference between Korean and Japanese makeup. But for Korean makeup they are more into a bright dewy skin, a light to no blush kind of look on the cheek, straight eyebrows and lately I noticed for the lips they, are, they use red, pink or like nude so anything I guess but it's more like smudgy kind of a look if that makes sense. Japanese makeup they are more into um, soft semi matte skin, a lot focuses on the cheek as well, on the blush right here on the apple cheek and a bright lipstick. So the inspiration that I got from this two look is from Pony and from Alisa Ueno. Pony, she's a really 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 popular Korean makeup artist. Like she's so popular that she's currently doing CL's makeup. How cool is that? And for Alisa Ueno, she is a really popular Japanese model. I've been following her for years now. She's like one of those coolest models that doesn't mind trying out like all this crazy ass trend but yet look, everything looks so good on her. So for these two looks I try my best to use as many Korean and Japanese makeup that I have in my collection but yeah so if you'd like to see how I got these two looks let's get started. The first thing we'll be doing is priming our face and I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Face Primer because I don't have any Japanese or Korean face primer. And then for the Korean side, the foundation I'm using is the Innisfree Longwear Cushion and this is the darker shade that I have and this is in the shade 23 and it's really good because it has SPF 50. And for the Japanese side, I'll be using a sample that I got and this is from Cyber Colors and this is the cream foundation and it's in the shade natural. I'm pretty impressed with the coverage and I really like it. And I know for Japanese, they prefer to use their hand to apply the foundation. And for the concealer, for the Korean side, I'm using the 3CE Waterproof Concealer. And this is in the shade number 2 and it's applying on my under eye and all of my red spots. And for the Japanese side, I'm using the Kate concealer stick and this is in the shade number one I think and I'm just doing the same thing and to set my face for the Korean set I'm using the Innisfree no sebum mineral powder just on my t-zone area and under my eye and for the Japanese side I'm using the soap and glory one heck of a blot and for the eyebrows for the Japanese side I'm using the Kate designing eyebrow and I just know that Japanese they love to use powder eyebrows so I'm just doing that and I'm using the darker shade and the palette that I have is in number BK4 and for the Korean side the eyebrow pencil that I'm using is from Shu Omera. It is the Heart Formula pencil and I'm just doing like a straight eyebrow for it. And to set both the eyebrows, I'm just using a Maybelline Brow Drama Mascara because both Japanese and Korean do use mascara like this. And for the Japanese side, for the eyes, I'm just using the MAC Soft Ochre Pro Long Wear Paint Pot just to prime my eyelid. Then I'll be using something glossy to go over the lid and I'm using the Marc Jacob eye stick and this is in the shade Twinkle Pop and just applying this over the lid and then smudge it out with my finger. And for Japanese look, I know that they use a lot of brown coppery shade so I don't have any Japanese palette but I'll be using the BH Cosmetics Kali Bible palette and the shade I'll be taking it as the dark brown and I'm just going to apply it like how I would apply a thick wing line lid. So I'm just applying that and using the remaining on my lower lash line as well. Then using a golden shade, I'm just applying this over the lid on top of the brown shade as well. And instead of using a fluffy brush to blend out the harsh line, I'm just using my finger because that's what they usually do. And before we do the eyeliner, we're just going to use a liquid eyeliner and I'm using the Facio liquid eyeliner and I'm just applying just very very close to my lash line and applying mascara and the mascara I'm using is the Majolica Majolica Lash Expander H 
Mister Mascara, which has like a fiber to it to lengthen the eyes, and I'm using it for the top and bottom lashes. And the falsies I'm using today is a Japanese brand, and this is from the Disney collection, and this is in number one cute eye. And I'm just applying as close to my lash line as possible, then going over with the eyeliner. And as you can see here, I'm starting from the middle and wink it out at the end, having like a really dramatic cat eye wink. And I'll be taking a black eyeshadow and this is from Colourpop in the shade Roulette. I'm just applying this on top of the wing. And then to start length, I'm using the Kiss Me Huron Eyeliner Pencil. And the Japanese eye look is complete. So onto our Korean one, I'll be using the Pony Mimi Box Palette and this is the Shine Easy Glam 2. And the first shade I'm taking is the Sparkly White and applying this over the lid as well as the lower lash lines as well. I noticed for Korean, they have a lot of shimmery palettes, but yeah. And then using the shade, the third shade right there is like, I think a shine beige, I think. And I'm just applying this all over the lid. Then taking the darkest brown shade in the palette, I'll be applying this on the outer lid to contour my eyes. I noticed in a lot of Pony's tutorials, she used a lot of gel liner to tight line, so I'll be doing that today. And I'm using the 3CE 3 Concept Eyes gel liner in black to tight line. And I'll be using the same gel liner to do my eyeliner, and I'm doing a really nice flick. It's not too long or not too short, but it's perfect for my eyes. And then we're going to curl our eyelashes and put on the same falsies from the Disney one, the Japanese brand. And then going over with the mascara and I'm using the brand 3CE and this is the 3 Concept Eyes Fixer and Mascara. Apply this on the top and bottom lashes and the Korean look is complete. So back to our face, we will be contouring our nose. Both Korean and Japanese love to contour their nose. And for the Japanese side, I'm using the Cake Designing Eyebrow Palette again. Using the medium shade, I'll be using the brush and just contour my nose bridge like straight down and that's the same with the Korean side as well and I'm using the Pony Mimi box and this is the Shine Easy Glam palette and I'll be using the shade Easy Shadow with a fluffy brush to contour my nose and I'm just focusing mainly on my nose bridge and on the bottom nose part as well and that way you get a slimmer nose For our bronzer, I'm just using the Color Pop in the shade Poolside just to bronze my face. I don't have any Japanese or Korean bronzer, so I'm just using this for both sides of the face. And then for the blush, for the Japanese side, I'm using this really cute blush. Um, I don't know the brand and stuff. I think it's Econ Eco. But yeah, I'm just focusing on the apple of my cheek, just going back and forth, back and forth, and apply some on my chin as well. I know, don't ask, but that's how it is. And for the Korean side, I don't have any cream blush, so I'm just using a lipstick, and this is the 3 Concept Eyes in the shade Jazzy Pink. A little bit goes a long way, so I'm just taking my time dabbing it. And then I know for Korean, because you want that dewy skin, you have to have highlighter. So I'm using the Face Designing Brightener from Etude House, apply on my cheek and on my chin. And for the lips, I'm using the same product for both of the side. For Japanese, I'm just applying just how it is. And this is from the Urban Decay Anarchy lipstick. And for the Korean side, I'm just applying the middle and then smash it out with my finger. Just to have that like, you know, tint smudgy look going on right there and this is how the look looks like Japanese and Korean side so which side do you guys like better so I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison between Korean and Japanese makeup thumbs up and subscribe if you like enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye